On the 16th of March, the World Food Programme announced the immediate suspension of distribution of food to people in Karamoja sub-region after cases of food poisoning were reported. At least three people have since died and several others treated after they consumed the super cereal. <laughs> government also ordered locals to return the remainder of the food to the distribution centers. However, this did not happen. So when they heard of this, that we are retrieving the food, some of them thought that now they are going to go hungry. They decided to move further, deep into the villages. So there is that challenge. The Minister for Karamoja Affairs, John Biabagambi, said they have only so far recovered food from designated distribution points. But it's difficult, it's very difficult, that you can retrieve all the food, especially that one which is already in the hands of the people. But that one in the health centers, was, it was very easy to take it back. The trucks are going from health center to health center. All the health centers stop distributing. To collect it, to store in Moroto, and we are collecting, just to be clear, we are collecting that with the police. The World Food Programme Country Director for Uganda, Elk Dil Balum, refuted reports that the food may have bypassed the right channels before it reached the consumers. You know, the, we have a rigorous system from production to consumers. First, when we tender, we have to tender and we have to do complete due diligence about the suppliers and the suppliers, we cannot depend on the suppliers providing us with their certificate. We have to get an independent certificate from a credible superintendent. The Health Minister, Jen Rutha Cheng, said that the results from samples taken from food and the patients have been taken to different government laboratories. Food samples have been sent to a laboratory in Mombasa called Intertech Kenya Limited and another in Johannesburg Intertech Testing Services SA Limited for further analysis. The results from abroad are expected in the next five to seven days. WFP confirms that the super cereal fortified food originated from Turkey. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.